leader of the great consolidated popular party, Dr. Henry Herbert Latte, has declared his support for the controversial Ghana-U.S. military cooperation. He's urging those opposing the agreement to shut up because according to him, they are the ones propagating trouble when there's none. Dr. Latte is the first opposition leader to publicly declare support for the deal. He's been speaking to join his charity, M. Hill Bartels. How many soldiers do we have? 20,000. How many aircrafts do we have? Maybe six. How many ships do we have? How many among things do we have? And if America is coming to help us with all these weapons and support, and we want to say we're losing our sovereignty, it's ridiculous. 50 nations have signed similar contracts with the US, including Germany, Great Britain, Japan, South Korea, even in Africa, there's Kenya. Have they lost their sovereignty? We are trying to fight terrorism, and it's in our interest to get the support that we need. All our borders are porous. And you travel around the country. I buy coffee. I do a lot of things. We have porous borders. Now, is Nigeria part of, uh, do they have a contract with America? Does Burkina Faso have it? Does Mali have it? Yet the, 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 the people, terrorists, went there. So what's this ridiculous assumption? We need a powerful neighbor and a powerful friend. And America was one of them. Even in the contract, there are certain areas that they agree that if they commit problems, they will pay for it. But if they turn a blind eye on it and they're trying to spend for political expediency, it's totally unacceptable. So then, um, if I'm getting you right, then there is you're trying to say that those against this particular yes. um, agreement are trying to only score political points Absolutely. for themselves? Absolutely. And it's disgraceful. Ghana first. Our sovereignty is first. Not who wins the power at all costs. Ghanaians want peace. They want to walk about the country and feel good, not knowing that when there are terrorists, we panic and we have no weapons to fight it. That's what Ghanaians want. But you don't turn it around and try and say that instead of getting that support to do it, we are rather creating a situation where terrorists come. Is they rather who are creating a situation where the terrorists will know that we have this agreement with America. Mm -hmm. They are the, rather the people who are creating the problems. Okay. And they should shut up. When you fight terrorism, you're talking about security. That's a, it's not everything that you discuss in public. Mm -hmm. And you don't tell your opponent the sort of weapons that you have. You want them to come and tell the whole the Boko Harams and the terrorist the weapons they have? Then they'll find antidote to it? Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous question. Not from you, but what they are saying, it's not right. They should have that. They should have be able to go and come and do the job to stop terrorism. You shouldn't have laws that will stop them from uprooting the terrorism in your own country. And most countries have signed that. There's a reason, a military reason, why that is done. And I support the current government 100%. Dr. Latte is calling on the, who is the leader of the GCPP, is calling on the Special Prosecutor Martin Amidu to, as a matter of urgency, investigate the Rawlingses over some acquisitions they made in the past. Dr. Latte says Mr. and Mrs. Rawlings have enjoyed clemency for far too long, and that the time has come for them to answer to the law. Serious agency is number one. The number one citizen at one point who overthrew a democratically elected government for corruption and a military government for corruption. And we find that you have those tenants with you as well. He should be, they should investigate him. Even Lula da Silva of Brazil is in jail. Other countries are doing it. Zuma is in trouble now. He should not think posterity will judge him. We should set the record straight. We have a democracy. And a fantastic democracy. And if we don't tackle corruption, the democracy will not work. Mm. Shiraj failed in their duty to ask me, when I've asked questions, to come and bring give further and better particulars. I'm asking questions, and you ask me to bring further and better What nonsense is that? They were scared of J.J. Rollins, so they had to find a way to hash things up. Fortunately, the current president had brought the special prosecutor and the Kaiser. You know what Kaiser means? A king. Kaiser Mudu would do the job and prove to Ghanaians that 
He's straight as he said during the vetting. Thank you.